Good morning, everyone, and it's good to see so many people lining up the streets this morning, showing the strength of the feeling here. But I know it's not just in London, but it's across our country and it's across the world as well. If Julian Assange is extradited to the US, there will be far-reaching human rights implications and a chilling precedent will be set. It will have profound consequences for freedom and democracy all around the world. Potentially every newspaper and every outlet could be at risk in future if this prosecution succeeds. And this goes to the crux of the issue for so many. It's about whether we value and support press freedom or not. And for me, it's been long clear that the charges related to Julian Assange's publishing activities must be dropped and the UK authorities must, must reject any notion, any notion of his extradition to the US. There must be an end to the suffering and torture of a person for the simple act of telling the truth. Because it is Julian Assange's whistleblowing activities about illegal wars, mass murder, murder of civilians and corruption on a grand scale that have put him where he is today. And when it comes to those wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, it is clear that they were in breach of international law and resulted in large-scale death and destruction, including human rights abuses committed on a large scale by occupying troops. It's also clear that we were misled, and even now, even now, the truth continues to be obscured and suppressed. In 2003, I was 13 years old, I was a teenager, and I marched against the Iraq war. I know how that war destroyed the lives of so many Iraqis and caused destruction to the region. But it also devastated my constituency and community in East London, and the consequences of it are still felt to this day. I think it's utterly obscene that whilst those that pursue Assange for publishing information about serious human rights violations, you've got those responsible for those crimes itself continuing to enjoy impunity. That's why I think today and Julian Assange's case is so important for us all. Because really, really it's about people and their power versus state power and imperialism. It's about truth versus deceit and cover-ups. Ultimately, ultimately it is about seeking justice in an all too often unjust world. Solidarity.